Hi there, welcome to the very first episode of Notice Board. In this, HR Katha and I are partnering together to bring to you some of the interesting things that have happened during this week. And I want to start by first talking about a little feature that I read on HR Katha. And my interest was piqued in it because it really debated this whole question, is it a good idea to change jobs often? Because to begin with, it also gets you a salary jump each time you change because when you get a regular increment, you might get a 5 to 10% increase, whereas when you change a job, it might give you a significant hike. So is that a good idea? My belief is that, uh, you know, whenever I change jobs, and I've done quite a few, one of the things that I kept in mind was, was I changing either the role or the industry? So, you know, either I was doing a generalist role in one and doing a specialist role in the other, or it was giving me a chance to head the function, and above all, if it was a completely different kind of an industry, so that gave me a chance to work in technology, FMCG, or even in uh, advertising or the core sector like steel, uh, manufacturing, etc. So this is one of the things that I advise that you should be looking at building something which is going to really add to your skill set. The benefit that you get by changing jobs in terms of a financial difference Yes, that's an incidental, but don't let that be the reason to do it unless you are really terribly underpaid compared to the market. So that's the very first story that I wanted to talk to you about. The second story is really around the visit of Jeff Bezos. The kind of press coverage that Bezos got, it really is something that I've only seen being reserved for the head of a state visiting India. But then think about it, he's the head of a trillion dollar company and they are also investing potentially in some of the jobs, the, the kind of things that they do is also going to impact uh, the retail sector everywhere. So it was only important that the newspapers really highlight that. But what I want to talk to you about is the Amazon's leadership principles. They have 14 leadership principles which they use to guide every form of behavior. So if I had to pick one that I really like, which is that when they expect their leaders to be right more often, which means that they are really saying, before you take a decision, do your homework, talk to people, see if you are wrong somewhere. Maybe your logic is wrong, maybe your data is not updated, but do all the things that you can possibly do to make sure that there is no loophole which is left. And once you are sure that you've done all the homework, jump in and experiment. So it is a kind of a great way to innovate, think about it. It's not that you're saying, don't try out anything different, but you're really saying, before you do the thing, do a deep dive, do really thorough homework so that there is nothing which takes you by surprise. That, I think, is a great way in which organizations can leverage their ability to innovate. The third story that I want to talk to you about is, the interesting thing that happened was I went across to XLRI Jamshedpur, my alma mater, and I got a chance to be uh, a part of a panel which was discussing whether the gig economy is something that is a fad or is it here to stay. And it had actually the CHRO of Titan, it had the CHRO of Tata Steel, and then it had representatives from uh, Infosys and Reliance and the CHRO of ITC was also there. And then it had two gig workers. It had Gautam Ghosh and me representing the gig economy. The theme was pretty straightforward. Is the gig economy something that is going to continue to be a part of our lives? And the answer to that is definitively yes, because it is a part of the business, it's a part of the workforce that is growing the most. So expect to see more of that. But what I want to really talk to you about is this really neat uh, policy that Tata Steel has created to encourage gig workers, which is that you know now, for example, in maintenance, the machines break down less often. So what do the maintenance engineers do with that spare downtime? What Tata Steel has done is, it is telling them, don't spend that time just twiddling your thumbs there, just go across, go and talk to other people and maybe do work outside, help out somebody in a project, even if it is outside of Tata Steel. So the differentiation is not just the fact that they are asking them to limit themselves to projects inside the company, which of course there's a great opportunity to, but maybe build their skills as entrepreneurs step outside. This was a great way in which the company is really encouraging people to build skills for the future. That tagline is, we also make tomorrow. You remember that 
Tata Steel line that they had a beautiful ad which said, we also make steel. So they are now saying we also make tomorrow. And this is a terrific way to live up to that particular uh, tagline. So that was really what was there for notice board this week. But before I go, I just want to share with you one last thing, which is that there is a print edition of HR Katha, which has got the views of 42 industry experts talking to you about what to expect in 2020 and beyond. What are some of the trends? What are some of the fads? So don't miss it and look forward to hearing from you about what you thought of this episode. And I'm going to be back next week with a different episode of the notice board. If you want to follow me on social media, you can use at the rate Abhijit Bhaduri. And it's the same thing whether you want to join me on YouTube or Instagram or Pinterest or LinkedIn or Twitter. It's the same everywhere. And you can also use the hashtag notice board to add your comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Until the next time, goodbye.